Okay, for this project, I recommend that you buy a 90 pound sheet of hot press watercolor paper or the Stonehenge paper. Those are the two in the bookstore. At any rate, when you're using a good quality paper, most artists prefer to not cut the paper. They prefer to tear the paper. Seems kind of archaic, doesn't it? <laughs> tear the paper. Uh, but the reason for that is because good quality papers, uh, single sheets of paper, have these nice deckled edges. This is a deckled edge, this is a deckled edge, and the other two ends are actually torn so they look a little bit like a deckled edge. That piece of paper is made in a really long trough and then torn into smaller sheets. Um, but it is a, a mold-made paper. It's not really a handmade paper but it's not made strictly by a machine. That's part of what gives this paper its value, its quality. So the reason uh, artists would like to tear the paper instead of cutting it is there's something aesthetic about that deckled edge. It's kind of nice. And so you want to preserve that on all four sides if you can. And the only real reason you might need to do that is so you if you float mount your work of art. By float mounting, I mean when you mat it, and we talked the other day about matting. I've got to talk to you a little bit more about why you want to really allow uh, the narrow side of your drawing to be 10 inches, not 11 inches. I sent you an email about that, I believe. I'll go into more of that later. But if you mat it, you have two choices. One is to have the mat overlapping the edges of the paper. That holds the paper flat against the backing. It works really nicely, and a lot of artwork is matted that way. But a lot of times you'll see artwork that is float mounted. That means you can see the entire piece of paper under the glass, but inside of the frame of the mat. Uh, that gives the viewer the, the whole picture, if you will, pun intended. The deckled edges all the way around the perimeter, the size of the paper, and that it is a sheet of paper. If you go down to the exhibit that's on display right now, you're going to see a number of those are float mounted. Those are actually float mounted by using little plastic tabs that it is setting behind, like the old fashioned photo album tabs. That's an unusual way to float mount. So anyway, this demonstration is simply how do you tear the paper? So it's really simple. I'm going to, I've spent more time talking so far than it's going to take to show you what we're doing. But to tear the paper, it, you can do it with any straight edge, but it's really hard to hold this flimsy ruler down tight against the paper to make sure it doesn't, the paper doesn't slide out from under it. We have a couple of these bars that are for cutting and for tearing paper. We have one in this room, one at the other end of the hallway. And they're really handy for this. So this is a 22 by 30 inch sheet of paper. And I think the most logical way to do this uh, is going to be just tear it in half, which is going to give us a piece that is uh, now 15 by 22. Two sheets that are 15 by 22. You could even tear it down to 11 inches, which gives you a little bigger piece on the other side of this 22 inch length. That's up to you. I'm just going to do this one in half. It's your paper. Who's Whose paper is this? Yours? Is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you're going to have two sheets that are uh, both half of this size. In my watercolor class, they most of the paintings they do are half sheets. And so this is important. They just tear them in half and they, they get twice their money's worth. So all I need to do is put a light mark at the 15 inch and a light mark at the 15 inch point. So I've marked the middle of the page, and now I put my bar, and a lot of times there, one of these edges feels a little sharper than the other one, just a little uh, cleaner edge. That's what you want there. You don't want a rounded edge. I've simply aligned this bar with my paper. The only really important thing is that you hold this down because this can't slide. Then it's simply a matter of pulling the paper towards you. Voila! <laughs> Pretty simple. It is, it is quite that simple. 
Now I have what kind of appears to be a deckled edge. This is actually a little rougher than this side is, but I can float mount that now. It just bothers me to use an exacto knife to cut a piece of paper. I do it sometimes because I'm in a hurry or I don't have this big bar, but that's the preferred way to trim your paper down. And you can keep trimming it down smaller and smaller uh, than that. So that's what I wanted to show you. And I'll post this video uh, eventually so I can use it in the future.